Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shinto Prisco, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yep, that's the home of the first state capital back in 1821 to 1826. Sure enough, sure enough. Hey, today is Thursday, March the 30th, 2023. We're not live today because of technical difficulties. Uh, computer wouldn't take it. I don't know what's going on with it. It just wouldn't do it. So anyway, we've got happy birthday shout outs to Jill Bastin Thompson. Uh, and so without further ado, hey Jill, hey, it's your birthday today. So uh, happy birthday. I must say, you know, you're one more year older today. So a uh, happy birthday to you, I say. Said, hey Jill, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your special day because, well, it's your happy birthday day today. Day today. Also, got a uh, happy anniversary shout out to Chris Edinburgh and his wife of 30 years. Congratulations to you too. And, uh, well, it's your wedding, uh, it's your wedding anniversary. Thirty years ago, you tied the knot. And, well, believe it or not, you're together right forever. It's a long time you've been there. Keep up the good work because, well, they say marriage is easy, but it's only easy. If you love and forgive and bend and stretch with the wings. So, happy anniversary to y'all. Both of you. Alright, how about them Shin Show shout outs? Yeah, Shin Show fans. Ken and Becky Tackett, Diana Gray, Savannah Murphy Beeson, Keith Woodfin, Mary, Ann Briscoe, aka my mommy, Sherry Williams Divine, Martin Kelly, A.K.A. Smiley, Lori Moore, A.K.A. Lori Taylor, A.K.A. Thumper, uh, Rachel, and uh, that would be A.K.A. Sweet Sunny Day Girl. Then the Shin Show Share, Doug Bubba, A.K.A. Steve Flary, plus my Pokey Pals, Joseph Marshall, Julie Rico, and Amanda S. Little. So there you have it. We're a daily blog, not a live blog, but a daily blog of a handicapped citizen in St. Charles, Missouri. Today we're not daily. All right. That being said, let's do a weather report for the St. Charles viewing area. St. Charles, today's temperature got up there. For sure, for sure. Got up to 72 degrees. Yes, sir, Bob. 72. And do you think I liked it? Well, yes, I did. I still didn't get an opportunity to go get my hair cut, though. I'd have kind of, I'd have kind of liked it, did, but just didn't happen. Does, you know. You know what kind of days I have. My mama said there'd be days like this. <laughs> and there are. Anyway, the weather forecast is brought to you today by Profession Word Fellowship Church. Profession Word Fellowship Church is a non-denominational Christian church located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. Uh, come on in for our, well, tomorrow. Not that be today, tomorrow. All right, come on in for our uh. Today's Thursday, not Friday. Yeah, um, and we missed it. It's too late for that now. Anyway, Sunday services at eleven a.m. Our uh, catch our um, catch our 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 our. our so, yeah, a uh, Bible study at 7 p.m., or it can be caught on Zoom, 
or you can stop in for Thursday's Hour of Power Prayer from 1.30 to 2.30 in the afternoon. So, check it out. That's Refreshing Word Fellowship Church at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. Alright, there you go. Uh, for the remainder of the day, showers this evening, then scattered thunderstorms developing overnight. Low temperatures near 55 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 90%. Okay, here we go. Friday, March the 31st, last day of March, that is, becoming windy with thunderstorms possible, severe in the afternoon. Storms may produce large hail and strong winds. High temperatures of 72 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 80%. Winds with a few clouds over from time to time overnight with low temperatures of 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to southwest at 20 miles per hour. Then for Saturday, April the 1st, partly cloudy skies with windy temperature, uh, windy conditions. High temperatures of 54 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west to northwest at 25 to 35 miles per hour. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Clear skies with low temperatures of 34 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for Sunday, April the 2nd, sunny skies with high temperatures of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight, low temperatures of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Monday, another scorcher. Well, not scorcher, but good for me. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or two. And um, or some thunderstorms also. High temperatures of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds uh, south at 10 to 20. I'm sorry, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight. Low temperatures of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for our fifth and final day of our five-day forecast for the Central Viewing Area. Tuesday, April 4th. Mostly cloudy skies in the morning. Isolated thunderstorms may develop later in the day. Potential for severe thunderstorms. High temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chances of rain 30%. Scattered thunderstorms during the evening and then partly cloudy overnight. Potential for severe thunderstorms and low temperatures of 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chances rain 60%. And that, my friends, is your five-day forecast for the St. Charles Beaming Area. Alrighty, that being said, let's do uh, one song. Uh, no, let's just jump on into TV, uh, Grandpa, Grandpa, tell me about the good old days, when the lines between right and wrong weren't so hazy, song lyrics, Grandpa, the Judds.
you're going to get that song after all. All right, here we go. Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Sometimes it feels like this world's gone crazy. Grandpa, take me back to yesterday when the lines between not right and wrong weren't so hazy. Did lovers really fall in love to stay and stand beside each other come what may? Was a promise something people really said, not just something they would say and then forget? Did families really bow their heads to pray? Did that is really never go away. Whoa, whoa, Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Grandpa, everything is changing fast. We call it progress, but it's just don't, I don't know. And Grandpa, Let's wander back into the past, then paint me a picture of long ago. Did lovers really fall in love to stay and stand beside each other? Come what may, was a promise really something people kept, not just something they would say and then forget. Did families really bow their head to pray? Did daddies really never go away? Whoa, whoa, grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Whoa, whoa, grandpa, tell me about the good old days. <laughs> Did families really bow their heads to pray? Did daddies never really go? Away, oh, no, Brian. All right, let's see. I think we'll do, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna skip it. We'll just go, uh. Sorry. TV Grandpa's not feeling the greatest today, so we're just gonna go on over to the Daily Bread. And, uh. To do or not to do. Daily Bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2023. The Bible with Briscoe 2023 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2023 will be Judges 9 through 10 and Luke 5, 17 through 59. So don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Verse Go 2023 for your life, for your daily reading of the Bible. Today's scripture and insight will be Romans 7, 15 through 20, 
to do or not to do. Here we go. I do not understand what I do for what I want to do, I do not do. But for what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good as it is. It no longer I myself what do it who do it but it is sin living in me for I know that good itself does not dwell in me that is in my sinful nature for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do. This I kept, uh, keep on doing. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no uh, longer I who do it. But it is sin living in me that does it. If that's not confusing. No, it's just saying that sometimes your body can be corrupt. Regardless of whether or not you want it to. But thank God we've been healed for all those sins prior to. Committing them, not saying once saved, ever always saved. Saying that God knew we had a sinful nature, and so He. Sorry, give me a second. God knew we had a sinful nature, and so therefore, He gave His only begotten Son to save us from sin. And forgive us for those sins because he was um, persecuted and uh, got an itch on my cheek. Sorry. Persecuted uh, and crucified and whooped up and beaten upon for our transgressions. And so, therefore, we were everybody to know the good news of Jesus Christ. Alrighty then, hey, that looks like the Shin Show. Got one more song for you though, and it goes. Oh well, goodbye my friends, it's a uh, time to go. I said goodbye my friends, it's a uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So, goodbye my friends, goodbye. Goodbye my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shemblo Briscoe saying hello. And how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know, God loves you. And so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow. Because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.
Hey, you know what? You can like and share this one too. Although the Bible with Frisco 2022 is more shareable than this one, I swear. Alright, God bless y'all. Have a great night. And uh, sorry we couldn't go live and have that interline chat, but computer just wasn't going to have it tonight. Alrighty then. Bye-bye.